Hi, this is a voltaic fuse solar charger and uh, battery. I believe this is the V15 they call it. This has worked really well for me. I've loved it dearly. It's uh, performed very, very well, very robust, and um, it comes with the standard solar charger. The battery inside the connect inside the case is a you know a mesh pocket and a few. Um, elastic tie downs to hold the battery in place and the wire to connect to the panel. Uh, very well made unit. There were a few things that I didn't like about it. On the battery itself, the standard connector to plug into the solar panel and the mini US, uh, excuse me, micro USB port uh, is just a, a 90 degree connector and it's real easy to wiggle it um, by the wire and it tends to rock in the USB port and I've had it actually disconnect and not charge when I thought it was. So what I did was I used a product called Sugru. S-U-G-R-U. -U. You can Google that. It's an air cure rubber. And very useful, very inexpensive, and great for a project like this. I took the standard connector and encased it in Sugru while attached to the unit. You just take a piece of cellophane, um, Saran Wrap is a brand name of that, um, anything like Saran Wrap works. Uh, otherwise, Sugru will stick to pretty much anything. Uh, cover this voltaic battery with uh, Saran Wrap, plug the connector in, and then molded this to fit right around. I'll connect this, uh, forgive me for using one hand since I'm holding the tablet, and you connect that on there. And it's very hard for this to move. It's, it's in there pretty good. It can't rock. Uh, if you pull on it, obviously, if you pull out, it's going to unplug. Um, piece of wire tie management Velcro. Uh, the kind that comes on the broccoli works well. Um, slide that over that. And that's, that's truly not going anywhere. It's, that's on there. Excuse me for using one hand here while I hold my tablet. Yeah. So that's in there. I can hang this thing up. I can swing it around. That's not, you know, that connector is not going anywhere. So that was hack number one. Uh, the second hack using Sugro was inside the fuse itself. Uh, if you flip this thing open, down at the bottom, where the wire comes out of the panel, you'll see that uh, there's usually just a hole there and the wire goes up inside the hole. I'm not sure if there's a strain relief up inside there. I'm assuming it's hot glued in there and there is some sort of protection from yanking the wire off the back of the panel. Um, this unit's really well made. I can't believe there's not one up there, but I'm not going to look. I just took some extra Sugru after another project that had a piece left and filled that hole and came up the wire about a quarter of an inch to add a strain relief there as well. I'm not sure how I would ever get enough pull on that wire to yank it off the panel, but better safe than sorry. And um, that's it for the Sugru. The third hack I did was these work best when you point them straight at the sun. Now, when you lift this up, there are some gores on the side that keep it from opening all the way. You can remove them, they're just Velcro attached. Um, but how do you keep this thing up in position? What I did is I took a bicycle spoke, cut it to length, and up here is just a um, electrical connector, uh, a, a ring type electrical connector with a short piece of wire. Uh, the wire is soldered in here and covered with a piece of heat shrink tubing and attached underneath the post stud uh, retaining nut. The other end of the wire overlaps the spoke about an inch. Uh, spokes are stainless, they're hard to solder to. Uh, so this is held on there with a dab of epoxy and then covered with another piece of heat shrink tubing. Uh, this allows me to use it as a kickstand I just pick it up, you can stick it in the netting part if you want the unit very vertical, um, or 
you know, put it wherever you want it to get the angle you want. I find that that works very, very well. And uh, those are the three changes I made to my unit. Uh, hope you get something out of this video. This is a modification to the Voltaic 6 watt fuse. I've done some other mods to it in a different video. But lately I've been fighting with the cable and the proprietary connector with an extension piece. Then where it goes into the V15 battery is just a micro USB connector. And as I noted in the other video, it doesn't connect all that well. I started to think that I don't have anything that this round 3.5 by 1.1 barrel connector goes to. I believe that's used by Voltaic when you chain multiple panels together and that type of thing. That's not how I use this. Most of the time it's going to be plugged directly into the battery and then the battery is going to be plugged into my phone, tablet, etc. If I do want to connect something directly, which you can do, I would still have to use the converter to get it to the micro USB. So I'm going to get rid of the middleman. I've taken the solar panel out of the container, out of the little pack that it's mounted to, and I've cut the barrel connector off. You can see here it's just two strand and it's color coded by polarity. I did check it with the meter. And I'm going to feed that through and I'm going to attach a USB female connector on the inside of the pack so that then I can use any charging cable and connect pretty much anything I want. I'll do that in a moment and be back with you. Okay, so I went ahead and made the splice. Um, soldered the red to red, black to black. The wiring is pretty idiot proof. We'll see when I'm done. Um, in the last video, you know that I put a piece of Sugru around the black hole in the in the case itself where the wire goes through to the inside. And I stated that I wasn't sure if there was a strain relief on the wire or not on the back of the panel. And much to my surprise, when I opened it up, there is not. If you look, the wire disappears into the panel. It The hole is pretty much the exact same size as the jacket on the wire, so it's pretty tight. I don't know what happens inside, since the panel itself is just a solid, you know, for all practical purposes, it's a solid sheet of plastic at this point. So I have no idea what goes on inside. But while I had it open, I figured I'd blot it with a piece of hot glue and tacked it in place there just to add a little bit more. Whether it needs it or not, who knows. Um, the wire goes through, and then there's a female connector on the inside, and I'll show you what I'm going to do there in a minute. Okay, so here's the inside of the panel now. I haven't attached the panel in permanently, but this is the configuration it's going to be in. The wire comes out of that same hole that I had put the Sugaru around to secure it previously. Uh, one of the nice things about Sugaru is you can just remove it. Um, sometimes it leaves a little stain in color because of the um, that was on fabric. Um, Sugaru is quite removable and quite permanent at the same time. It's great stuff. The female connector for the USB is going to attach up here. As you can see it's just a standard female connector. There's a little pocket right here and I believe that probably was some solid wire management on the stock configuration. But luckily it's the exact same size as this and this will fit perfectly right under there and hold that in place. I may even hot glue it there so it can't possibly slip out and that will give me a permanent port on the inside of this case to attach any charge cable I want. Let's do that and I'll come back. 